All right, Lewis. What about tuning? Can we talk a little bit about tuning? Oh shit! Sounds. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I'm not Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, based on the fact that I was knocked out, the only thing I remember is the light turning green and I woke up in the ambulance. Yo, this is not the phone yeah. wheel you put on me. Yeah. This. I'm going for the record, for the gas powered record. So what they did was he built this frame uh -huh. to use junior dragster parts. Dude, the back wheel, mm -hmm. they, normally it's a four wheel vehicle, but he took the dragster front wheel right. and then also the dragster rear wheel the and he made, no, that's an eight inch wide tire, drag slip. If you get to the other side, go around and you can see the, the motor, I mean, the uh, hub, the wheel is beautiful. It's a machine, it's a forged wheel. It's so light, it's ridiculous. It's so light, it's beautiful. So what is up guys and girls? I am Mr. E from NYC. And if you're new to the channel, I wanna welcome you. On this channel, we like to bring to you group rides that are held here in NYC, as well as the occasional group ride out of state. I also enjoy bringing to you cutting edge technology that both you and me can and will use on our e-bikes. And on today's episode, that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. Four driver controllers, you've heard about them, and that is exactly what's on the topic of today's episode. So without any further ado, let us get into this one. All right, so I have arrived. I am visiting El Petro and DJ Sounds. We are going to break down the differences over here. All right, so what we have here is the, the, the middle to the upper end of the, the far driver line, starting from the 680, going to the 850, and then all the way up to the 1800 and 1800B for far driver. I have the 680 and uh, from the middle of the line, but the 680 is a great, option for those who have uh, even a five or uh, th three or five kilowatt motor but the 680 is good between you know six and eight kilowatt motors but if you decide to upgrade if you have a 680 if you have a three kilowatt motor and you decide to upgrade to a five or a six or even an eight the 680 will handle it so that's why i picked started with the 680 and went up from there with the higher end of far driver controllers each of these controllers there's there's different ratings the 680 is good for a, a six to eight kilowatt then i have the 850 it's good for an eight kilowatt so the each of the beginning numbers the 800 is good for eight kilowatt I have the 1000, that's good for a 10 kilowatt, up to 10 kilowatt motor. Then there's a 1200, good for a 12 kilowatt motor. So if you have a, a 12 kilowatt motor, that's, that would be your, your choice. And then all the way up to the 1800, and then the 1800 is kind of like where the, the limit is. It, is. it could do 1800 amps, and then a lot of motors can't handle that kind of power. You're looking at something like 20 kilowatt motors, that would be a good pair up for those motors in particular. What is the advantage or disadvantage to getting, let's say a 96 volt 680 as opposed to a 72 volt uh, 680? So uh, there's a couple of things and a couple of reasons why I would suggest always trying to go for the higher voltage. The higher voltage will give you higher top speed and it's something that would, you would be able to upgrade to again at a later time. So if you started with 72 volts, you can run a 96 volt controller but then later upgrade to a 96 volt battery and it'll, it'll work with both of those things. So, so then you would lean on getting 96, 680 over a 72, 680 yeah. because of that upgrade. If you, if you decide that, let's say if you take a um, Onyx for instance and you have a 72 volt battery, you know, it's a two, $3,000 battery. If you're fixed on a 72 volt and have no plan on upgrading, then I would go with the 72 volt 680, which is a little, it might be a little bit, che slightly cheaper. Okay, so that was my next yeah, yeah. Uh, topic. I wanted yeah, yeah. to jump into what, more or less, when you say a little bit cheaper, what's the price difference between the 72 680, let's just say, and a 96 680, if somebody wanted to get that? It's about a hundred bucks 
but again that like if you're just starting your build i would always opt for the higher voltage because you might start at 72 or maybe you already have a 72 volt battery that you want to try in that build but at some point you want to go to 96 like powerful lithium has 72 volt batteries for suron for instance they have 88 volt and then also 96 volt battery that's where this 9680 is good for the suron in that regard because it has enough amps for the stock motor even an upgraded motor like the social motor but it'll also run 72 88 and 96 volts which is awesome all right so uh far driver i'm really excited about these 96 680s but i do see two uh there's two different models over here so i am just curious can you break this down to me why is it that you have two different 96 680s all right so you have this first 96 680 which is this model with the heatsink built in this is a universal controller this will go into any any vehicle um you know we've we put this in the um, onyx the rcr uh, this worked out very well with the 8 kilowatt motor. It was a very powerful combination and it also gives you the option for 96 volts, which is which is awesome. But we have here is the 96680 for Suron. So this is your stock looking, you know, replacement for the your stock your stock Suron controller and it's got a 96680 built in with this heat sink. But you can't be confused, you can't just you can't buy this mount separately so it comes as a unit and you can't because the way they attach it is very special attachment points that are different than the stock the way the 90 stock 96 680 is you can fit a 96 680 on, on your bike yeah, I've seen with some a people. stainless steel plate, uh, plate yeah. that's by um uh technic q technic um i, don't, I forgot the, all these call out names or whatever technic q uh, has a, a 680 and also a 450 controller mount that you can put a regular stock universal controller besides this one that's spe specifically made for the Suron to mount and which a four bolt, it mounts, well, it goes this way, I'm sorry. It bolts into your stock location. We're using your stock screws and then you have your wiring here and, and then plug built in. So this is made specifically for the Suron and actually we tested this at 60 volts this one in particular it goes you could use it from the stock 60 volt battery 72 volts 84 88 96 anywhere in between lewis i see 96 850 we're missing something but we have an additional uh accessory or part what is this so this is the water cooling plate for the 96 850 also the 72 850 it'll fit on where you run water into the to the cooler and then it cools the plate just to keep the the, the temperatures in check um, but i also brought this out so you could see the size difference compared to the smaller 96 680 which is again a smaller footprint so the 680 and also the 450 are about that size and where is this one i mean this, i see the box so the so the 96 850 is the is the controller right now that's in my honda grom so it's uh again kind of overkill for that and that's important too is that like an eight in eight we're not we're not gonna run 850 phase amps on that bike so it's actually overkill overkill which means that controller won't heat up. So if you have a, a controller that's capable of more, then that means it won't heat up under, under stress. If you have a, a lower uh, line amp and phase amp controller and you push it to its limit, that's when you start to generate heat. If I did start to push the, the Grom to the limits of 850 amps, then I would definitely add the water cooling plate, which is an option on that particular controller, where some other controllers have built-in water cooling like this 72 1000. So this one is a little smaller than the 850, but this is one of the newer ones and it already has this built in. Can you it put already it has the, for Yeah, you can see the, the size difference here that the 72 1000 is a smaller footprint, but it also has the water cooling built in. So now this, this particular plate compared to the other ones, it has your inlet and outlet for your, for your water cooling built into the heat sink it's into the heat, heat the heat sink plate already so that's not an option it's, it comes like that and they also have um 
This one came out first, the 72-1000 was the first controller to come out in that, that uh, variation, but now they also have an 84 and a 96 volt. 96 1000 with the water cooling as an option. So on the upper end, the 72 1200, all of these are the same size. This actually comes with, this comes with the, the heat sink, which is a way to get air to cool that controller off. This offers more uh, dis heat dissipation and more square inches of surface area. So that helps with cooling. Um, that comes with the 72 1200. But right next to it, we have a 96 1200. You can see it's the exact same size. This one also comes with the, the oh, it's this plate. Wait, is this plate? No, not this one. <laughs> Wait, is it? Yes, this is this plate. So it also comes with, with heat dissipation, heat sink via air. And then the 96 1800 comes with the optional water cooling plate, but it comes with the controller. So it comes with it. Where the 96850, this was, if you ever look at the far driver page, you'll see this on the side. This actually is an option if you want to upgrade to maximize the potential of your 96850 if you're really taking it to 850 amps, which is 85 kilowatts. That's a lot of power. So with the 96680, the 680 means the phase amps. So that controller is rated at 680 phase amps and 330 battery amps or line amps so the line amps are what your battery is capable of and then there's three phase wires so veteran explained this to me from powerful lithium that it it kind of gets i don't know how i don't know the the science behind it but the the 330 is is what your battery is capable of so if you have a um a battery that's only capable of 200 amps you know, cells that aren't, you know, high-end cells, like maybe lower-end cells, like a smaller capacity battery, it won't be able to, this this controller might be too much for that. You, you would be, we wouldn't be able to pull 330 amps from a battery. All right, Lewis, what about tuning? Can we talk a little bit about tuning? Oh, shit, sounds. Hey, what's up, yeah, I'm not Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Sounds is in the house. Where have you been? What's going on? Well, um, a few people might know. If you don't know, you're about to find out. Um, I was involved in a car accident and I was uh, knocked unconscious. When I woke up, I was in an ambulance and uh, I was brought to the emergency room and the doctors told me that uh, a car hit me and uh, broke my left clavicle, which is the collarbone. Uh, so, yeah, based on the fact that I was knocked out, the only thing I remember is the light turning green and I woke up in an ambulance. Um, fortunately, uh, big shout out to Tyrus, he was with me at the time. Um, two witnesses uh, saw what happened. He was ahead of me at the time, so uh, you know he realized I wasn't there. He came back, saw them, uh, the witnesses put me on the sidewalk and the car just happened to go past as he you know was there and they was pointing out a car that car's right there so he hops on his Chevron, chased the guy got his information and um you know we found out who did it and that was it all right sounds i am glad to see that you are up and about walking around and you're looking good i have a build i'm using a far driver controller and i need a good tune so you gotta hook me up we we're just talking about tuning over here mm. i'm hoping you can hook me up what 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 can you tell me about a tune for these far drivers? Uh, basically, you know, if you want to be as efficient as possible, is to have the perfect tune. And I just happen to have that. So. <laughs> and that's all the time I have today. Lewis, thanks so much for your time. Your yes, time is sir. important to me. DJ Sounds, it's yes, awesome sir. to see you. <laughs> I learned a lot today and uh, I hope you guys did too. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, don't hesitate and smash that like button. Leave a comment because I get back to everybody. And if you want to, please subscribe. So until the next video, peace out everybody.
the ground just needs the brakes for and we're ready to rock. Are you kidding me? That's it? That's all that's yeah, left? That's it. And this, and I, well, because I ordered new levers oh, because shit. I needed them to be street legal to, to be, to light the brake lights up. So are you, you're registering it and insuring it and everything, right? At some point, yes. Yeah, it's going to be registered. Are you taking this out on the street without registering it? <laughs> All right, so please well, call like me. Sir, I'm right. You know call I mean? me when this is done. This should. Yeah. This is looking nice. This needs. So to be street legal, it needs yeah, signal, signals. a signal kit. Right. And Break just light, the tail. brakes. Yeah, the tail light and the signals. So the signal kit to be street legal. Oh, it looks great, buddy. You did a fucking nice job with this one. Yeah. So this controller in particular, the the 96 72 1200 1800 series, that'll fit in the RZ. That's where we're running in the sounds. Uh, RZ 96 1800, um, 1800 amps, and again, it's capable of that. We're not pushing out right now, but at some point, and then this will stay cool during the summer, what have you. But again, this will fit in a bigger bike, um, depending if you have an open frame or a custom frame. I have this on my drag bike, uh, 96 1800B paired with a QS180. I got space for it. I'm sure Johnny will show you some pictures of that. Um, it's it's uh. Also, just on, on the verge of being finished, so we, we, we're almost there, we're almost there, it's coming out. We should have some, some pictures of that. Uh, that. That special mount, and there's plenty of room, it's just wide open frame. So if you have a motorcycle that you're converting, this is what this should go to, you got plenty of space. Honda motorcycle, 300, 600, uh, probably not a CRF, but a street bike, that'll be perfect for a, a nice conversion, and it's something that we, we like to do. And don't forget, if you need a far drive controller, as you can see, we have a huge variety of them from all bikes, Ceron, Onyx, Metabike, RZ. I don't know, I might have left something out. Anyway, I can put this in anything. So anything that you ride, you got two wheels on it, you put this in, you got a wheelchair, four wheels, we we'll still put it in, no problem. Uh, real quick, uh, I just wanna let you know, you know, the weather is here. Um, I want you guys to be safe. I was just involved in an accident. You know, I have my helmet on, so, I mean, even with the helmet, I still got knocked out. So just please, you know, wear your gear, ride safe. You know, I don't want to see anybody, you know, else in the hospital, you know, start to the season. So just be safe out there. And uh, if you got any questions, you know, hit up Mr. E or hit me up and uh, we'll respond. And make sure you dress for the slide, not for the ride. That's all right. <laughs>